Check on Daddy. Our, uh, let me, let me set an alarm up and forget. Let me check on Daddy. I forgot I don't have the damn car that witch took it. <laughs> God damn. Gotta check on my daddy and my damn witch girlfriend took the Kia. She took the Kia. That's my mama's Kia. It's my Kia. <laughs> I don't want to brag. It's my Kia. There we go. Look at this little velociraptor arm. <laughs> now it's my Kia. I paid my mother for it, but I wanted to buy her a brand new car. I didn't want to buy her a I didn't want to buy her key off her. We already discussed this, but that's what's going on. <laughs> We're off to a hot start. <laughs> I just got out of the ocean. That's why my hair is all wet. I took a cold shower in the ocean. And then I took a hot shower in my home. Hey, knock it off, Chris. <laughs> He's got a microphone. He's punching it. I'm such a fool. I There's simple solutions to things, and I don't... That cold... I just went in the ocean... Felt like a million bucks. I was screaming and hooting and hollering. <laughs> utter joy and adrenaline coming through my body. Just yelling like a crazy person. Everyone's looking at me. I'm getting smiles though, but I can't even control it. It's visceral. You're just, you're hit with fucking ice water. You just go, ah! <laughs> and you start screaming and going nuts. And it feels good. It's good for your soul. You're like, I'm alive. My dick is gone, but I am alive. <laughs> I am alive. And then I took a hot shower and I went, went like, I just want to go to bed now. And I, I took all that away. What a fool. <laughs> what a fool. Should have came straight from the ocean to here. But I had sand on my feet and my hair was all rat tat tat rat tat 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 Never hesitate to put a... Can't say it. <laughs> Learned that one the hard way, didn't we now, Rogan? <laughs> He's not racist, but he did say that word quite a bit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. I, I'm with Rogan and black people, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> We're off to a hot start. This is delicious tea. It's not tea. It's matcha. I mean, uh, what the fuck are those things called? Liquid IV. My sister got this at uh, Santa Fe Seconds in Wilmington, the hood. It was this, it was this falling off the truck kind of store. <laughs> it was awesome. It went out of business or got raided. What's the difference? But I tell you what, you get a steel mug for a dollar. <laughs> it's a good deal. Made a hood. Real strong. Made a hood. Num 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 num. <laughs> oh man i did a show last night that shit was so fun mark maron's nuts dude he's so funny he's just just a old curmudgeon he's he's he is his character is him you know yeah there's nothing that's why i love it i'm like oh your tv show is you <laughs> he's so funny jay farrell was on it he came from an award show show he was dressed to the nines. It was awesome. He just came in all glowing. I was like, okay, bro. All right. Tone it down. <laughs> this guy's fucking glowing over here. I'm wearing a flannel. I can't compete with that. I wear my nice flannel, though. I want my good one. My funeral flannel. That's the good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Atsuko was on it. And I didn't know she started a global worldwide tiktok trend that one where everyone squats and looks at the mirror oh really that's her yeah she's like oh yeah i started it and i was like wow she's like yeah my friend told me to get on tiktok and i did that and i was like whoa you're fucking the golden child like that you know what i mean <laughs> yeah the first thing i threw on the wall went globally viral and beyonce did it you know yeah. like yeah I was like, okay <laughs> Well, you got some good juju going on in your soul there. Okay. Yeah, she was lovely. It was a good show. Eleanor Kerrigan was on it. Was there Cornelia? It was a good damn time. The old Tammy Joe Darren from back in the day. You were there at the ground zero. Yeah. Malo. Malo Cantina. Fucking Taco Hut. 
That's how I got my start. I don't know why I did that. I'm not a fighter. I was hanging out with Brendan Chaba all weekend. That's why. <laughs> that motherfucker's so dope. He, I did Sacramento with him. That fool is generous. He's just paid me well. I sold merch. I sold so much merch. I was like, I gotta stop headlining. <laughs> <laughs> I opened. I featured for him, so I was doing twenty minutes in the middle of a sold out show, selling merch. Oh my god. Let me just tell you, it was much easier than what I am accustomed to. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Now, I'm not, I'm for sure, you know, headlining is the future and where it's at. I'm just saying it was nice to just be like, oh, I don't, I'm, I don't have to be responsible for the whole operation. This is, this is nice. That's all I'm saying. Um, and it was perfect because I did a full weekend with him and I have a one nighter, April 24th, Sacramento. And, uh, you know, so you do a short set and then they come see your long set. So that's perfect. Now, that's the way I want to do it because then I just sell it out in the one nighter and make the same if I did a whole damn weekend. These deals are weird. I'm not supposed to talk about that. <laughs> was that because they liked you, the, the venue? I already had the date and it just oh. happened to work. Thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, God. Arr. I don't know who's doing what, but I try to pay attention. Do you think tweakers can get possessed by demons? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes, Pro I do. If anybody can. If yeah. anybody. It's the low vibes. The 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 darkness comes in and they, they grab you by your little nut, little tweaky nuts hat. <laughs> they got a hold of you real good. And then they tell you what to do. They go, go stab that person. And then you do. And you're like, oh. I don't know how many murderers wake up from a trance and be like, someone just told me to do it. I'm like, who's telling you? That's a lot of tweakers. That's a lot of tweakers. <laughs> I knew a tweaker that went nuts. I went to school with her. She got high on the tweakity tweak for too many days. She hallucinated and she 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 stabbed a bunch of people. This is getting too dark. Anyways, she's in prison now. <laughs> <laughs> that might just be sleep deprivation at that point. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, women were stabbed, Chris. <laughs> You're saying don't blame the tweak. <laughs> Who caused the lack of sleep? That's true. Exactly. <laughs> Back to the root canal. Back to the square root. Back to the square root. Did you hear the government wants you to social distance and when you're in your nuclear <laughs> bomb? Did you hear that? Yeah. This is getting laughable. <laughs> Can we just fucking Take, we have to infiltrate the government and take it over uh, through the inside and say, like, hey, this stupid shit, no more, you know? Why don't you run for office and be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. We need people, normal people. These motherfuckers don't get it. They're they're all billionaires. They're or on the take of some demon's cock, you know? Yeah. And um, they're either fucking sucking off popes for power <laughs> these fucking fucks you know it's like yes give me the give me the give me the pipeline yes yes vatican i don't know who's running shit but there's evil bastards up there oh yeah there's a lot of them i don't know who they are i don't really want to know who they are then they and they might fucking send me to the pope and i'll have to get some <laughs> hanky panky to live you know what i'm saying i want to live i don't know Shit's weird, though. What is happening? Here's the exact article. I could read it. I saved it. <sighs> this is insane. Ready.gov ask Americans to find the nearest building to avoid radiation. However, the government's guidelines were dragged by social media users for including protocols oh we gotta fucking bleep that fucking word after seeking shelter in the nearest building 
The next step tells Americans to stay inside for 24 hours unless local authorities provide other instructions. Continue to practice social distancing by wearing a mask and keeping a safe distance of at least six feet between yourself and the people who are not part of your household. Hey, if I'm with my neighbor I've never met in my garage escaping radioactive fallout of a nuclear bomb that was just detonated i'm gonna hug that motherfucker <laughs> i'm gonna hug that motherfucker i don't care what it what it, whatever who uh you getting a hug you hairy you getting a hug you hairless you getting a hug you getting a hug you fucking fucks this is fake this is this is weird. this is this is a simulation this can't be real in the event of a nuclear... Are you sure that is real? That sounds pretty fake. No, you can never tell. Because they just relaxed all the guidelines. So either that's from two weeks ago. That's another problem. Is this fucking real? This is an article sent to me. Yeah, just because of the... I mean... This, you can never fucking tell. Did you hear the, the fucking... The, the whole Ukrainian island 13 yeah, soldiers? Yeah, it's all fake. What is happening? Why did they tell us that and get all our emotions going? For that reason. I know, I know. But it's and for the, I mean, I don't think it makes it around Ukraine. Maybe it does, but it's like a boost to their morale. Yeah. You know? I mean, not really. The, the and story the is photo. actually all those people are alive and in captivity. So it's not like. Oh, they got captured? They Yeah, they said they said, fuck you. And then they, they killed them all. And that was like the last stand. And it's supposed to be like this big bold statement yeah but really they all surrendered got captured and they're alive await you know in in captivity so, yeah in, in prison so it's a better outcome for those people but the story's not as good now because it's not oh, a nice they're just thing. they're just being tortured instead of the dead that's yeah. lovely that's a happier yeah, ending that's... i uh yeah i can't keep up with the bullshit and then you come to find out like you you nato tried to take over ukraine several times like yeah, 20 been... years ago if you, ukraine is has tried to fight off motherfuckers like six times now or some shit as i went to googling i'm like oh 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 yeah you're like oh you're being invaded constantly yeah <laughs> oh no wonder you're ready to fight you've been fighting for 20 years yeah because it's the second biggest country in europe after russia and it's about the size of texas so it's a big piece of land that everybody wants on their team. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, gee, many crickets. Did you know that we bombed Somalia the same day that Russia bombed <laughs> Ukraine? Does anybody know about you that? Know it from the news, but yeah. And I'm not saying. I'm just saying. How about no bombs? How about no bombs? That's what I'm saying when I say stuff like that. Yeah. Hey, USA and Russia. USA and Russia. USA. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you stop dropping bombs for one fucking day? Can we do that? We got money for wars, for, but can't feed the poor. Tupac Shakur. Mister, get over here. Come on. Come on, you fucker. He got locked in the neighbor's house again. Again? Yeah, and I, but he wasn't meowing, so I was super worried. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Get back here. Come on. Come on, hang out with me. Just sit. You been doing cocaine at the neighbor's house? <laughs> you been doing cocaine? Yeah, you have. <laughs> yeah, you wear your bow tie. You looking all fancy. You looking sharp, bro. I recommend everyone to get an animal. It's a different kind of love. When he's gone, I won't, I'll I'll my neighbors. <laughs> That's my cat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I won't. I won't. These are jokes. Do we have to edit that? I will. God damn it! You can't even joke about violence anymore. Fucking crazies out there. You know. I guess it doesn't help that I have a gun. <laughs> 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 Leave it all in. Who gives a fuck? I'm just saying. No, no he, he's been kidnapped before, but, you know, I'm not going to do anything. I just, I'm just saying you get, it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's a different kind of love. You're like, what do you, you know, the people, that serial killer that killed cats, for instance, 
They couldn't. He's killing humans. No one gave a shit. He killed the cat. They got him. It's different. Huh. It's different. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's fucking different. And uh, they just. Like, I love Sadie, but, like, you know, like, <laughs> when I get home from the road, where the fuck's my cat, you know? <laughs> Out of the way, Sadie. I want Mr. Cat. <laughs> You're going to clip that, and she's going to see it. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Mm, she agrees. She'll do it to boo. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. If you don't have an animal, I highly recommend them. Everybody is a dog person. I was a dog person. Then I got a good cat. Not all cats are good. Some of them are psychos. And I just want... But if you get a good one, I think they're better in the sense that you can leave your fucking home and not worry, you know, and not worry. Yeah, they're generally mo lower maintenance. Not generally. They are 300% yeah. lower maintenance. I know motherfuckers that can't go to a movie because their dog has yeah. anxiety. Yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, that's not... He's supposed to help you, not give you anxiety. Yeah. That's a bad dog. That's a shitty dog. These fucking dogs. I can't leave my home. My dog will tear it up. That's a bad dog. <laughs> Get a new dog, or beat your dog. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to edit all this. No, I'll just leave it in. We're already getting canceled. These are jokes. It's satire. Let's cancel another comedian for making jokes. You fucking cucks. <laughs> Th was he kidnapped this time, or was it just another? I had an accident. Yeah. Dude came home. All of a sudden, Mr. Cat was out. I was hooting and hollering. And I was extra worried because his collar had fallen off. And I was like, no collar. He looks like somebody's cat, even without a collar. Yeah, he does. He's a little fatso. <laughs> He's a little fatso. He's hiding from me. Where'd you go? He's under the table. He's licking me. <laughs> <laughs> he licked me. They have rough tongues. They have rough tongues. <laughs> <laughs> it's the silly things. I got podcast notes. My father had eyeball surgery. Oof. Oof. I got to take him some clam chowder. Cataracts or LASIK or... I don't ask him questions. <laughs> Fucking eyeball surgery, bro. Who cares? <laughs> I. <laughs> um, yeah, my sister just texted me. I got podcast. Podcast conversations with God. How do you want me to be of service today, God? Do you want me to inspire some junkies to get off the stuff? No problem. Hey, tweakers, put down the pookie pipe. <laughs> or you're going to lose a tooth like me. <laughs> Y'all ever just get a tooth pulled because of bad decisions? I have. I have. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Podcast. Is it healing? Yes. But I went to the dentist to get my stitches removed, and they gave me another stale cupcake. I about had it with them. I have about had it. You're going to give me the gift of sprinkles, and it's going to be old two times in a row. Your dentist gives you a cupcake. I, I, yeah, I find that fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? I tell everybody the story, and they say, your dentist gave you a cupcake. Sadie kept thinking I kept buying cupcakes at sprinkles and lying and saying the dentist <laughs> gave me cupcakes. <laughs> and I was like, no, they're... The dentist gave them to me. She's like, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a sugar fiend. Like, no, I didn't buy them. I got them free, I swear. So they give out sprinkles, but I, I guess always go good. on Monday and they have them over the weekend and they get me the leftovers from Friday. And it's and then she said, Gum Tuesday for a fresh cupcake. And I said, 
No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not coming for a fucking cupcake. It's an hour away. Lady. See many crickets. It's a good business model. Cupcake. Just like keep you, you know, keep you coming back. Keep the infections coming. Yeah. I, uh, I've been gargling. I've been gargling. I've been healing. So if you get a tooth pulled, it heals from the outside in. Yeah. Or the inside out. And outside in is better. It's quicker. And inside out is not as good. And I'm healing inside out. That's not as good. good. Did they tell you you can't smoke because of like dry sockets and stuff? Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Mm-hmm. How's that going? (laughs) How the fuck do you think, bro? (laughs) I I got problems. Yeah. I can't stop smoking. There's so much here. I just go, oh, I want to try that one. I want to try that one. Oh, mm. oh no! I got a show. Better take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I need to change my ways again. Work, work, work. I don't want to work. It's just so much work. Oh, you gotta take care of your mind. Oh, you gotta take care of your body. Oh, you better watch that soul, too? Oh, no. Fuck out of here. Just smoke some dope and rub our nutsack. You know what I'm saying? That's the Cliff Notes way. (laughs) I feel good right now, God. I feel good right now. But not in four seconds. I feel real bad about myself. Yeah, you know. Fucking weed. Weed saved my life so many times, but boy, I get to abusing it, and uh, then it just it just changes. It f- I fucked it up, and as soon as this is over, I'm gonna smoke. I want to smoke right now. I smoked. Well, I smoked two t- two joints today. I woke up at seven a.m. and I just smoked. I drank some coffee. I smoked. I went back to sleep. Like a psychopath, <laughs> and then I woke up. I smoked again, and then, and then, I, and then I laid down at the beach, and I went in the ocean. It sounds like a good day. I mean, it was a great day. I just feel guilty for the amount that I smoke sometimes, because there's days that I don't, where I'm like, you know, it's good, it's good, and then most days I go, oh fuck that. Don't be a bitch, Craig. <laughs> Smoke that shit. Be a man. You know, you could do it all, Craig. <laughs> you could do it all. It's always when you're believing in yourself the most that you take the hits you shouldn't take, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's not that bad. I'm just in my head because I got gobs of free product from Farmer and the Felon and ABX Absolute Extracts. And it's delicious, and I love it, and I just partake. I just start partaking. This cat sounds like a gremlin. <laughs> he, 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 the mic's picking him I, up. I got to imagine it is. He's very loud. I did that crooked, but I still caught it. I don't know if the count <laughs> uh. Yeah, the way shit's been going, I'm going to have to re, uh, I mean, I got a bunch of shit in the books, so I'm going to start opening for Chris, too, to Leah, nice. open up for Chris and Shab, and I should uh, figure it the fuck out to open for them first, do short sets, and get my headlining dates afterwards, so I'll sell more tickets. Because that shit's cracking. Because those motherfuckers be selling shit out. Not that I didn't. I th- I sold out maybe four shows. But they sell out every show. <laughs> <laughs> How big was the venue? Uh, it's Punchline. It's not too big. Uh, but still, it, you know, those these motherfuckers sell shit out. Um, I don't know what Punchline is. 
maybe 350 I'd say smaller because some of these clubs are like 600 you know these giant clubs you're just like hey what are you doing <laughs> you're making this real hot over here yeah there's really a handful of acts that could sell out the big clubs they're just fucking massive and uh I believe the the bigger clubs are all in not an attempt and I just keep comics from going to theaters, you know, the big names cuz you know, they leave them and that's a lot of money. And uh this is inside information cuz if a, if a, if a club seats 2 300 and you know, a guy sells that at 7 8 9 10 12 shows out two weekends in a row, he's like I'll just go do one theater. Yeah. You know, and it makes sense. Yeah, I get it. It's just business. But then when you get the new booty that could sell 200 tickets, which is good, but the size of the old traditional comedy clubs back in the day, it was just done differently. And uh, you throw that in the 6 seven fifty. you know, it's like, oh, that doesn't look, that <laughs> is, it looks different. But I love the small clubs. You better believe it. You better believe it. I think as a as a fan, it's more fun to sit in that audience. The small it's way audience. more fun. It might be harder to get a ticket though because it's. I would those punchlines are magical clubs for a reason. All these clubs with the, that magical rooms are all small rooms. Fucking Hollywood Improv is one fifty two hundred. You know that's not that many. Laugh Factory, shit. I shamed. I don't even know. I don't have the slightest clue. Google that one. I'm gonna guess two fifty. It's not that much. Main room's three fifty, and that was rebuilt at main room at the comedy store. Let me get that clear. Comedy store original room, I believe, is like one fifty, one eighty. Belly room's eighty to one hundred. Main room is like three to four hundred. None of these rooms are massive, but the, and uh, where was I going with this? Oh, how, just just how fun it is. Oh, how fun it is. Um. Yeah, so we'll see. Also, I'm headlining. I'm on my own trajectory. I don't want to mess with that. But, of course, opening up for these fools that sell out helps me sell my tickets. But it's like, how do I maintain? I got to, yeah, I got to, oh. <laughs> uh, Laugh Factory seating capacity is 230. 230, yeah. Jamie Masada likes money. They probably squeeze in extra it says 20. 480 for like maximum capacity but seating capacity is 230 oh that's probably some standing room only shit yeah um yeah that sounds about right 250 yeah and, and the, honestly the laugh factory might be the most electric when it's sold out of the comedy store and the improv they all can be electric and they all have their moments but the laugh factory has two tiers and when people are peering over you it's it's like it's energy from all sides it's quite nuts yeah last time i went i sat at the top tier and it didn't feel like i was far away no you're yeah you're like right there yeah i believe many people have coined it as thunderdome or something like that <laughs> you know yeah it's it's cracking it's cracked like and let me just see what else i got on the notes here podcast nope that's it that's it I just had that I did all these I did all these well we're free balling it let's talk about being afraid of creditors <laughs> I have no debt or no current i have expired debt from my past nice but nothing on the record yeah it's been expunged by time patience <laughs> you'll get your credit back just may take a decade patience don't pay that <laughs> but i called the hair appointment to make a, a haircut a little trim trim and then she said, I'll call you right back. And then that phone call, and I went, I ain't answering this. 
<laughs> you know? Well, it's sad because it's. I thought it was a spam. I didn't think it was a creditor, but back in the day, I thought it was a creditor, which is same thing. It's mm-hmm. spam. Who gave you my phone number? Who gave you my phone number? Oh, when I signed up for the credit card, I gave it to you. <laughs> Sorry about not paying you that 15 racks. It goes away. I owed American Express so much money. I didn't pay it. I did drugs. I disappeared <laughs> off the face of the earth. I came back 12 years later. Guess what I have? A gold card at American Express <laughs> racking up miles. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> I have good credit. I pay my bills now, though. They knew. They knew. They saw me pay that pay from a tooth to be pulled, and they said, he's a good man now. <laughs> he's, t- he's fixing his teeth. Back then, he stole the money to ruin his teeth, <laughs> but now he's fixing his teeth. He paid his bill. I pay it. Paid in full. Eric B. Rock him. Oh, that's the fucking jam, dude. I love that song so much. Paid in full. There's also like 19 different versions of it. And I had this CD version of it. It was my favorite and I can't find it on Spotify. I had this single CD. That's how old I am. I had an Eric <laughs> B. and Rock him. A single CD version of that song, Paid in Full, that had like nine different versions of that song. So it was all that song. But I had this one version that was my shit. I should repo my CD collection from my cousin just for that CD. I mean, just that one. I gave her all my old CDs. And I regret it just because of nostalgia. I don't need them. I wouldn't use them, but I like to look at them. Do you have a CD player? Yes, in my car. But I do want the one CD back, the Eric B. Rock him, just for that single, because I can't fucking find it on Spotify. Everything else she could keep. I don't need it. I got it. It's it's all right here. They got me. They got me. My last CD I purchased was uh, A Tribe Called Quest, most recent one. That was a great one. That was a great album. That was a great album. If you don't know it, look it up. What's it called? Ooh, good question. Let me look that up. A Tribe. I like artists. I like albums, you know? And they produce albums. That was also their first album in 20 years. Yeah. Low. No, not Low End in Theory. Shame on me. That's their first one. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Well, I would have never remembered yeah, that right. fucking album name. Um, Great album. Shitty name. <laughs> not going to lie. Was not expecting that to be the name. I mean, Midnight Mar- Marauders, Low End Theory. These are good names. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Shout out to all the veterans. Uh... I support you, <laughs> not wars. You know, like, what are you? It's too long. It's too long. Too long. That one track where they sample Benny and the Jets, that's a good one. Oh, man. The, the whole album yeah, is fire. Yeah, there's not a bad track. They are an album band. I have trouble listening to music because it's not, if it's not an album artist, I can't get into it. That's why I keep fucking with Kanye. Who's an album artist? Obviously, all the old greats, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. Iggy, Tupac. Um, like, I'm a diehard Snoop Dogg fan, but he's not an album guy, you know? Doggy Style kind of works like that. Doggy Style is an album. That's a motherfucking album. And uh, 2001. That's an album. Yeah, Dr. Dre, will, The Roots released an album. Y'all motherfuckers understand what I'm saying? You can listen to the thing from beginning to end, and it's enjoyable. These other fuckers, you put it in... And you keep going, what the fuck is that? And you yeah. just keep hitting skip. I'm not even a huge My Morning Jacket fan and Jim James, but I recently, uh, and, like, that. Those that that's an album. You know what I mean? Those motherfuckers make a complete art piece. And it's just so hard to find. And I love them so much. J. Cole, album hip-hop motherfucker. Because we live in like a playlist world now. Mixtape, playlists, yeah. singles. Nobody even fucking makes albums anymore. It's just hogwash. 
Hogwash. <laughs> it's hogwash. Do you make playlists or you just listen to albums? I have uh, several different things I do. So I try to keep up on my Spotify Discover. Yep. Discovery. They are... Their AI dick is up my ass because they are, have a connection. <laughs> and I'm like, how the, how do you know I like this weird stuff I've never heard before? Um, so I listen to that, and then I heart. I like the yeah. songs. So then I'll go over to my heart to playlist. And then I'm very lazy with it, but I have small playlists that I don't keep up. Like my Euro dance list has like four songs. <laughs> Stereo Love by Edward Maya. World Hold On by Bob Sinclair. Shooting Stars by Bag Raiders. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I like shit like that. And I'll go to their Made For Me playlist. But they're they're too predictable. Usually it's pretty heavily... The radio hits. The, the stuff you've been listening to a lot already just shows up in there, so it doesn't yeah, feel. That's why I like Discovery. Discover. Discover Weekly. Discover Weekly. Because they'll throw me some shit I have not heard. And I appreciate that because I love new music. I, actually, uh, a, 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 for me, it's 89.9 KCRW. Yeah. If you want to discover new fucking music, KCRW, baby. Those motherfuckers put me on so much music. I didn't really know who Arcade Fire was. I didn't really. If you pay attention to them and what they've done, they put a spotlight on Drake, uh, Mac Miller, Portugal, the man, fucking uh, who's that one fucker, Gautier, oh, somebody yeah. that, that used, <laughs> used to know. know. Uh, like they, they're they're like a star search before they hit. You know, I I got, I really appreciate KCRW. I was trying to Shazam a song on KCRW on the drive over here today, and I couldn't get it to work. Oh, you don't need to. They have all things archived. Okay. Get the app. KCR I should work for KCRW on Spotify. <laughs> um, and yeah. I think it's streaming, right? So it's streaming, and LA. it's free. And, and yeah, if you're not in LA, you could get it. And it's fucking fantastic. Because I like those shows like Morning Becomes Eclectic. Yeah. For that exact reason, because it's eclectic, and I'll get Britney Spears to Tupac to Duke Ellington to Slayer. I love that shit. I love, I love weird stuff. I love Spanish music. They'll just throw in, they'll just throw in fucking a, a, a goddamn love ballad from Mexico, and then the Stooges, and <laughs> and then something that like. A Northridge college punk band that's popping off and then a hit and then a Madonna song you know <laughs> you like, that's why that's what it's about we're all it's fucking awesome anyhow okay back to the light back to the <laughs> light back to the light never mind there's a third world war and mandates all over the planet back to the light Craig what do we got here oh no don't look at the news Hmm, how much time we at there, Tiger? Uh, 42 minutes. 42 minutes. I'm out of notes, everybody. I'm out of notes. You're going to Texas next? Yes, sir. Um, this one comes out. You'll be in Texas? I'll, uh, I can promote Dallas. Technically Plano, but Dallas is just way more famous, so I'm going to say Dallas. And uh, I got Dallas, St. Paul, Minnesota, La Jolla, Pleasanton, Sacramento, Beverly, Massachusetts, Spokane. Spokane. Last time we went to Minnesota, it was middle of winter, right? Yes. This time should be possibly spring by April. That's what everyone keeps telling me. <laughs> it's like maybe. It might be warm, but you never know. You could get a blizzard and freeze your fucking ass off. I was like, well, that sucks. I like the snow. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's pretty. It's mesmerizing. But I could do without that cold. I know that's yeah. uh, weird. It's, I feel like even if there's snow, it'll be, you know, 20s, not negative 20s. Oh. Oh. You know, once I pop and sell out and get the big dog shit, I could tour with the weather. <laughs> you know that? You know the big dogs get first pick? Yeah. 
and they can fucking be like, nah, that's football season. Nah. Yeah. You know, no wonder I'm getting San Francisco when San Francisco's in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Because everybody went, no, <laughs> no, are you fucking nuts? I take it. I take, I take it. I take it right here. I take it. I feed my tooth. I don't know. The winter crowds, though, in Minnesota would be uh, wilder. People are, you know, I have heard fever. that. Isn't that funny? That's so funny. I think Brennan Shaw uh, was just telling me about that. He said he did Buffalo, and there was like a blizzard, and it was like negative six, and he was so worried. And everyone was like, oh, no, it's still sold out. They'll show up. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, what? He's like, sure enough, people just pulling up in their fucking Camrys, like nothing. Just, oh, yeah, <laughs> like fucking nothing. He's He said it, would, it didn't affect anything. He was like, it's, you know. But if you go to Minnesota in May when it's super nice, people might not want to be inside. Like, That's true. That happened to me in Wisconsin. Now it's all coming together. Yeah. It's like nobody comes here in the summer. No. Uh but yeah, I just remember being like this is harder than usual, you know. Um, yeah, when you don't have nice weather for six months then everybody treats every nice day as like this fleeting thing that they have to get outside they gotta i saw people laying out on the side of like just sunny grass areas yeah like just not their property yeah like just rushed out for the sun (laughs) i was like guys just move to the sun just move to the sun but we take it for granted here too yeah i do I didn't even appreciate it till I started traveling, and I'm like, "Oh fuck, is this mosquitoes? You guys have mosquitoes? <laughs> you guys have flying cockroaches? <laughs> you guys have hurricanes? I mean, granted, we do s- kind of set on fire once or twice yeah. a year, and there's the potential that we might fall off and disappear into the ocean." <laughs> But other than that, it's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> what a joke. We might fall off into the ocean. We're all just smiling, eating, <laughs> eating fucking toast. I always just get like weirded out by the, all the tsunami evacuation signs when you're at the beach. Yeah. It's like it's such a possibility that they've invested in signs and, and routes spilled on there uh yeah no it's not even a possibility like it will happen yeah there's too many fault lines there's earthquake zones all over our state and our ocean and uh the islands of course japan and hawaii are close to proximity but we're near so many fucking fault lines it's crazy something's about to pop off I'm fine with them. <laughs> Once you live by the beach, if I've already said this, but if you see that tsunami coming, you're just going to wave at it. <laughs> you're just going to be like, it was a good run. It was a good view. While I had it, thank you. Thank you. I may be gone now, but you inland suckers <laughs> didn't experience this every day. My godfather, I was going to say his whole name, but I'm learning lessons. But he always uh, drive around in a big Chevy Blazer with the cooler, and he had his Coke and his, and his cup of ice. And he like had, a two liter? Uh, he, he, yeah, no, the cans. He had cans. Oh, okay. But he'd just be driving, making his cocktail. <laughs> Let's just say the man had a hard life and... Uh, I think he was around for two of my birthdays. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know where he is. He's a big buff dude. Hairy shoulders. He was the guy that put me on his shoulders to, when the stripper came in the old uh, VFW. And, the, and my dad was <laughs> like, hey, I got to go in here real quick. <laughs> go watch my kid out there. And I was like, ah, let me stay. Let me stay, you fucking pussies. I just hear. 
I like tits too. <laughs> so what if a mate? I just got a little kid boner pressing up against the back of my godfather's head. Just like this is whack. This is fucking gay, bro. Let me in there, man. Let me in the let me in the old VFW. Fucking strippers, bro. I saw that stripper at such a young age and my hair's just the goosebumps. I went Kloof. They had those good video game machines too where you play them and it like was like nudie. It was like a puzzle. And, oh, yeah. And then you just saw the cartoon tits. <laughs> oh, God bless. American Legions, VFWs, Moose Lodges, Elks Lodge. Those were my babysitters. <laughs> All non-profit bars where there's old curmudgeon men in them going, Gah! A lot of toothless suckers. A lot of veterans, too. A lot of war dudes. Do, they, do they all have like a mildew smell to them? Hmm. Yeah, wet wood, liquor, cigarettes. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Cigarettes, uh, even still, some of the one they never, one of them never gave it up. They closed, still smoking, like 2010. <laughs> They're just like, fuck you, get out. I love that. I love that. It's a bar. Yeah. It's where you go to do those things. There should be both. 100%. There should be smoking bars. And non-smoking bars. Not restaurants, not movie theaters, not airplanes. Bars. Because there's a hookah lounge, I mean. Yeah, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. How funny was that riff on me pressing my kid boner on the back of my <laughs> godfather's head, huh? <laughs> it's like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> His fault. Put let me in that room. Something exciting about that sex stuff. Like you just go to a strip club and you're just like, go. You know. Mm -hmm. I've seen Pornhub. I've seen you ladies at those at those those male strippers. I've seen those turn into fuck fest. <laughs> go on Pornhub. Go look that up. Party girls. Party whatever. You're just like, holy shit. This is crazy. <laughs> Y'all just fucking just jacking the man off and <laughs> sucking him off with your friends. It's during a bachelorette party. And everyone's going, woo, and they got clankers and bells. They're going, yay. <laughs> like, some girls are all into it. Some girls are like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> and it's just weird, like, wow, this is crazy. Bachelorette parties. Fucking cell phones. Some of y'all ladies are getting a divorce, you know? <laughs> Thank the rat out that recorded you at the bachelorette party. That's probably what it's called. I don't know. They pop up. It's not my favorite category, but it's interesting. Check out. You're like, <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. Those male strippers just be fucking strangers. I'm getting paid. It's crazy. What do you, what do you think the higher ratio is of female strippers to male strippers that are also like doing it giving it away oh probably more male i have no idea that's an interesting because bachelor parties have their own you know I, I think there's probably less people recording them yeah because it's dudes yeah and they're smarter <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> cover the tracks a little better <laughs> these ladies like, Woo! <laughs> suck that dick Karen <laughs> suck that dick <laughs> don't worry I won't tell your husband just recording this fucking don't worry don't worry <laughs> and then uploaded a porn hub for seven bucks and Karen just lost her family <laughs> Pete ain't doing that there's no way don't tell my wife Karen, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, monogamy doesn't work, man. Or it does, I don't know. 
I don't know. I think y'all should just enjoy. I don't even know. I don't know. I tell you what, I just farted though. Yeah, there's definitely not one way that everyone should be. I think every couple, every person is different. I think for my relationship, my lifestyle, my shit works out. I didn't really think it was going to work. I've talked about that shit. I went in with a negative attitude. I was like, oh, this shit's going to explode. And then it's just been fine. It's been remarkably smooth. And I was like, oh, that works with our lifestyle. I don't think it would work with a regular nine to five because it just it ain't going to work. <laughs> um, So... I don't know. If you're if you're married and you're miserable, but you love your wife and you're still attracted to her, but it's the same pussy for 25 years, may I suggest you just go get a little Thai massage every <laughs> once in a while, get whacked off, and take it to the grave. Join the Moose Lodge. Join the Moose Lodge. Go to the titty bar. I don't know. I don't know. Your wife won't like it, but I tell you what. You look at her with a new light, won't you? <laughs> won't you? You're not allowed to have these views. It's too crazy. <laughs> Just speaking truth. <laughs> Vice versa, too. Ladies, you tired of that same old wrinkled cock? <laughs> Go to a glory hole and get your rocks off. <laughs> go, to, go, to, go to a fucking... Go to the reverse massage parlor and get finger banged. I don't know how it works. I'm just saying a jerk is a little less intimate than, you know, the rest. And probably will get the job done on both fronts and get your little excitement boxes going. And then you're probably going to be nicer to each other. Is all I'm saying. She got finger blasted by a guy that knows where the clit is, <laughs> and you got whacked off by a lady that's been doing it since 1974. <laughs> you both won. You both won. You both came, and now you love each other, and now picking up your nino from soccer practice isn't something to argue over anymore. You know what I'm saying? You both got whacked off by a stranger. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the Lord's advice. <laughs> God sent this message to give to me. I mean, to give to me. Ah, <laughs> fuck you. For me to give to you. He said, tell him about the Thai massage, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> tell him you just get whacked off. <laughs> <laughs> if this isn't the best fucking podcast you ever listened to, I don't know what is. What do you want from me? I fart. I speak truth. <laughs> I got my tooth gone. What did I just say right there? I I had my tooth pulled or my tooth got gone. Got gone. Whack it attack. Whack it attack. Whack it. I'm fucking nuts, huh? And I'm fine with that. I lean in. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm tired of this shit. Everyone's a fucking pussy. We need to rise up. We need to take over our... <laughs> <laughs> just fart noise, the bad word. Yeah. Oh, I just pinched my nutsack. God damn it. I got fat balls. I got a small cock and a fat sack, ladies. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Got anything else for me, God? Got any messages? Ah. I ain't talking to you, Satan. You get out of here. We both know you sent me to that massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Do good things. Don't do bad things. Also, enjoy your life. Yeah. Everybody's... You should do this. You should, you should, you should, you should shut the fuck up and mind your business. And you, you should do whatever the fuck you want to do. As long as it's no harm, you know what I'm saying? Don't, 
Don't steal a car and almost hit a lady or something, you know. That's bad. You get you get 14 years like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Free baby bozo. He doesn't have a phone in prison anymore. He's been <laughs> offline. He had he was he was on. We were chopping it up. He was working the food food line. I don't know. He had Nikes. He's doing all right. He had good shoes. He had high socks. He's a down ass fool. Man, gangsters, man. I got cousins that are gangsters. They're just crazy. They're just gangsters. They just be doing gangster shit. Motherfuckers locked up. That's crazy. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to fight dudes and and fuck dudes or get fucked by dudes. You know. I don't want to. I don't want to play handball. <laughs> I want to play dodgeball, but in Freedom Town over here, <laughs> Libertyville. <laughs> by my choice, I signed up. I paid for it, you know. Eighty bucks. I didn't have to pay for it in my life t- time. That's so crazy. Those doors clank. It's the worst feeling in the world. And I only had three days of it. It's also crazy because I've known uh, a lot of my friends. They just become institutionalized and cousins and family member. That's so wild. They just keep going back. Just keep going back. I'm like, hey man, that's prison. <laughs> don't go back. They don't understand. They don't function. My cousin said to me, if I can't get a job, I'll just do a crime and get locked up again. And I was like, find a fucking job, bro. You know? What are you doing? Running out of batteries? Uh it it overheated. I shouldn't have. I was trying to see if it would uh run longer with the cord plugged in. So the cord, it does not run long, huh? It, it was batteries at 100%, so if I let it just run down to zero, uh, it never would have overheat. With the cord plugged in, it's charging while it's running, so that mm. got it too hot. The old stinky booty. The old institutionalization heckled by a camera. It's all right, it's <laughs> dark talk again. It's weird stuff to talk about. Not everyone can relate to that. But it's not like they like being in prison. It's that they forgot how to exist in society. Yes, yes, that's true. Yes, that is exactly correct. They hate prison. They know it's hell on earth. They just don't know how to operate and function in society. They're more used to putting batteries in socks than into appliances. (laughs) You beat someone in prison. Prison. Um, no, they don't, they don't, they're just fucking institutionalized, it turns them into an animal, our prison system's a joke, and on top of that, they'll just throw, like, fucking weed offenders in with murderers, I mean, this is crazy, once again, you should have the non-murderer prison and the murderer prison, just like the non-smoking bar and the smoking bar, same concept. And nobody should go to prison for having weed, selling weed. Yes, and on that note, <laughs> smoke a joint. I can't even talk. <laughs> it's all this mercury in my mouth. I have mercury in my mouth. I have to go to the dentist a lot more. I looked it up. It was uh, it was mercury poisoning from making hats, from like curing the fur from animals. That's how it, they were just in a room with a lot of mercury and and breathed it in so they I, all went nuts i also know that uh i was watching some shit on ancient chinese emperors and one of them uh, was taking mercury and uh and they killed him and i'm just like this shit's been a toxin since uh a bc china <laughs> yet it's somehow infiltrated my fucking teeth <laughs> you know you're just like what is uh um yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, this is the upside down. I said it. This is this is some fucked up 
Why, why is there poisons and everything? Why are we at war with every country? What is happening? All of us just want peace and a home and stability. And these monsters running the show are just robbing us blind. And there's just toxic and poisons and fucking food. They ruin food. How do you ruin the food chain? Oh, by genetically engineering seeds to self-terminate? And then patenting them and making us buy the seed off of you and you only. You're the sole provider of food. This, that. So I know it's all I talk about, but just like it's all that's happening in the world. It's just these corporations are hijacking our planet. And it's all bullshit. Like this war right now is all bullshit. We care. We care. Like, okay, what about the six other countries we're bombing right now? Do we care about them? Nobody fucking cares. We care when the media tells you to care. That war is okay to care about. This one over here, don't speak against that. You're the devil if you do. Insane. Insane. This is the land of the amnesia. Does everyone forget? You know how many fucking things our government has been caught red-handed doing? Not conspiracy. Caught. Caught. And just nobody remembers. Nobody remembers Gary Webb and fucking that other fuck. There's these poor bastards that both committed suicide. And they were, one was a journalist and one was a cop. And they uncovered some dirty shit about, I believe it was about the Nicaragua uh, war being funded by crack smuggled into our country by the CIA. Yeah. CIA. I said CAA. That's a, that's a fucking Hollywood agency. <laughs> And at the time when these people spoke about it, they were, uh, they're crazy, you're a piece of shit. They got fired from their job, they got attacked, they got divorced, they went bankrupt. And now they make movies about them starring Jeremy Renner, how they were right and how the CIA did do that. And then we're caught red handed. And then it was this. But that guy got two bullets at the back of the head and it was a suicide. <laughs> Limber. Yeah. Yeah. So the crazy thing is, too, about this reporter and several other reporters, prior to this investigation, he was a renowned reporter, a journalist. He was awesome. He was great at his job. He got the dirt out. Oh, shit, not that dirt. He's bad. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. There's also a CIA plane that went down that had like kilos of cocaine that they just kind of never explained ever. If you Google that, a crash CIA plane full of cash and coke or some shit. And they kind of went like, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Look the other way. Go away. We got to bring it back. We got to bring it back. We're going a little dark there. You know, we're just tired of the corruption and the corporations running amok when most of us have good kind hearts and we're good people. But the snakes and the vultures run the show. <laughs> but we're going to do what we do when we bring the light to the world. We talk about farts and silly stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. How did I forget this? Uh, a poop story. I did not shit my pants. But... My witch of a woman, I could say that because she's a witch. <laughs> she, I picked her up from the airport and she wanted to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I was like, Buffalo Wild Wings? <laughs> I was like, that's fucking garbage. Yeah. She's craving it. I was like, all right. We went. I get a fried chicken sandwich. Something's up. Something's up. I eat it all anyways. I'm a dumb fuck. No. And then all that night, just my tummy is just like alien <laughs> and i wake up so many times i'm just shitting just shitting you know like when the the hose is on full blast you put your thumb over it and just <laughs> yes that high pressure pressured spray <laughs> yep. high pressured spray oh and i just i didn't mean to do any of that that's crazy and i and it was awful and i and i just kept it was so painful, and then I had to drive to the dentist to get my stitches out with this, like, war in my tummy, mm. and I was drinking Pepto, and, oh, fuck you, Buffalo Wild Wings. What was in that chicken? I had a chicken sandwich. What did you do to me? Uh, just, just food poisoning. I had a food bug. Strictly diarrhea. I did feel nauseous at times. 
I felt like throwing up, but I just didn't have it in me. Just pissed out my asshole for about mm-hmm. 24, 30 hours. Thanks, Buffalo Wild Wings. Thanks. That's not much of a poop story, but <laughs> fuck you corporate chains and your, your food. I feel like all those sit-down corporate chains have gotten almost worse than fast food, the food you get out of them, like Applebee's, yeah, TGI they're, Fridays. They're worse. It's like, I don't know why. It all seems microwaved and or like sitting it is. a heat lamp. I thought that too. I was like, how's McDonald's McChicken better than this bullshit right now? Yeah. You're supposed to be a restaurant. How, how does this how do people buy this shit this is garbage we suck sorry i'm trying to keep positive <laughs> the fucking the fact that that's a hit chain and it's just utter frozen microwave dog shit yeah wake up people support your mom and pop we're going in the wrong direction buffalo wild wings gave me food poisoning i'm gonna start a fucking revolution over it <laughs> fuck your corporate change fuck your bj's restaurant but you get a pazuki at the end of it <laughs> fuck your fucking pazuki go to the old fucking lady nana that made a pazuki with her tit over there <laughs> fucking kneading the dough at 5 a.m she's from prussia not russia different place <laughs> and she's just fucking get her hard-earned fucking made baklava we're over here buying sugar cookies from mcdonald's it's fucking gmo go buy nana's baklava (laughs) you understand me well fuck we suck support your mom and pop i got food poisoning over a corporate chain and that's the problem i should have said no I should have said, no, Sadie, I'm not going to your corporate chain. Now I got to happy. You got to keep the girl happy or you're going to get your dick chopped off. <laughs> so you just go, yes, we'll go eat this shitty food. I should have ordered a salad that was frozen, iceberg, no nutrition. That's my fault. <laughs> they don't even wash the lettuce. We got salmonella from that anyways. <laughs> Fucking corporate change. There's two corporate chains that do it right. Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out. Both happen to be religious organizations. <laughs> hey, you know, I didn't plan that. I mean, Hebrew National makes the best hot dogs. So if you support a corporate chain, make sure they're either religious or a cult. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. If they believe in God, then they're worried about their punishment in the afterlife, so they feed you is good that food. What it is? Maybe that's it. See? And the devil made Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Don't support those devil chains. Go to God's life. <laughs> Go to the natural food. Yeah. Oh, man. I haven't been that sick in ages. It reminded me when I used to eat spoiled food at mm-hmm. Trader Joe's and always get food poisoning. How many times did I get food poisoning there? At least four, five, six. Four, there was a time three. you drank... I had a bloated tangerine juice in my fridge, and I was like, oh, I got to throw that out. And you're like, what? That's still good. What's wrong with that? I drank it. You took a big old swig. It was so bad. (laughs) It was so bad. It was, yeah. At least three. I don't know. It's all a blur when it's over 11 years, you know. (laughs) But at least three. That's the guarantee. And and you get the staff infection in your face. And which... three and a staff. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm your guy. <laughs> I'm fucking winning. If you say don't eat there, <laughs> you mean it. I know. <laughs> exactly. I ate cheese out the dumpster. That's some triple cream brie. Triple cream brie room temp. <laughs> Anybody got a baguette? <laughs> Anybody got a baguette? <laughs> Ciabatta roll? <laughs> you got some focaccia? <laughs> you do? Good. I love focaccia. What is that? Pizza? Is it bread? <laughs> what is that? It's in between. I enjoy it either way. Mmm, focaccia. <laughs> That's good food out of them dumpsters. Make sure you sniff the meat first. <laughs> if it smells sour, put it down. If it smells sour, you will vomit in an hour. That's a slogan <laughs> I wrote myself. You're welcome. Don't do war digging dumpsters. Hey, America, why don't you mind your business for four goddamn seconds? 
How many conflicts can we get involved in? Oh, all of them? Huh. Sounds like we're the source. <laughs> it's so weird. All these countries keep making us bomb them. It's so weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. We are giving you liberty. Liberty in the form of fire. Have you ever had fire liberty? Democracy. But first, we must melt things a little bit. You want to vote for a president? Well, get ready for some heat. We're turning. I'm going dark again, aren't I? <laughs> the whole world's at war. It's very hard not to talk about yeah. the complete hypocrisy of how we bomb everybody all the time. Obviously, nobody should bomb anybody. I just don't like hypocrisy. But I love you all. I think it's time to end before I go too dark again. We're a little dark, but with a smile. But with a smile. Make love, not war. And if you ain't got no war, go to the massage parlor. <laughs> You'll figure it out. I love you all. Thank you. Keep your head up. Keep floating. Keep that sack above water. You know, keep that. Yep. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>